publisher of the Lansing Journal, and I'm here with Josh Bootsma, our managing editor. Hello, everyone. Today we are providing a tour of Lansing's parks. You know, Lansing has at least 19 parks. We are not going to tour all of those today, Josh. Yep. We are going to highlight nine parks. These are the parks that our park district calls destination parks. They have a special feature or a amenity that no other park has. So those are the ones we'll highlight today. Starting with Land Oak Park. Uh, top of the list probably in your mind of parks in Lansing is Land Oak Park. It's Lansing's largest park, uh, 20 acres large according to the park district. And there are many different things you can do in this park. This is where people come for fireworks and come for many other things. And so we're going to show you some of those things right now. So something unique to Land Oak Park is the cornhole and horseshoe area where folks during the summer can play cornhole and horseshoes. Um, for a deposit, you can receive bags and horseshoes at the Eisenhower Center for the Land Oak Park District. And if you look over here, we have one of Lansing's larger playgrounds. The flagpole, beautifully, um, beautifully landscaped by the Lansing Garden Club. And then this park is so large, you won't be able to see that much of it, but you can see sand volleyball up front. You can see one of two shelters at Land Oak Park. Beyond that, you can maybe see tennis courts, and you'll have to take my word for it, but beyond that, there are softball and baseball fields as well. So lots of things to do at this park. It's Lansing's largest park. That's Land Oak Park. Now we're here at Bach Park, which is on Chicago Avenue, and the newest feature of Bach Park is the pause and play dog park. This was opened in 2018, and uh, Lansing residents can buy a membership at the dog park for $50 a year fill out an application which is available from the park district and you give them some information about your dog including your list of vaccinations that your dog has received and then you get a fob that gives you entrance to the dog park. It's divided into two sections, a large area for larger dogs and a smaller area you have puppies or small dogs who might be intimidated by the larger dogs, this is a nice spot for them to uh, play around in. There's also a Facebook group that the dog park members started and people post there, I'm going to be at the park today at 2 o'clock, I hope somebody can join me. So that's turned out to be a nice social addition to the dog park. Bach Park also has a new playground area over on the east side shelter that can be rented for events and there is a skateboard area all of these features are available here at Bach Park. Welcome to Potts Park, one of Lansing's smaller parks, somewhat hidden away. You have to know where it is to find it. It's at the corner of 172nd and Oakwood on the north side of town, pretty close to the Lansing Police Department. Uh, we have some new playground equipment here that was installed in 2017. This park was acquired by the Park District in 1956 and named after Dr. William Potts. Over here, you have something you won't find at any other park in Lansing, and that is bocce ball. Two areas to play bocce ball here, so if you miss playing bocce ball at the Lansing Country Club, you can come here and play. Uh, you see a basketball court in the distance there, and plenty of, of room out in the field to play frisbee or, or whatever. So. This is Potts Park. We are now at the park on 177th and Bernadine, which is known as Coppermuggers Park. It used to be called Lions Park. It is now Coppermuggers Park. And this is the site of some pickleball courts that were opened in 2017. This area used to be a tennis court, two tennis courts, but they did not see much use because of the way the fence was, was not completed. So the park district reimagined that and introduced pickleball in 2017. From what I understand, this is one of the most popular pickleball courts in the area because it's one of the few that has four courts together. So large groups of pickleball players like to come to Lansing to play pickleball. Our next destination park is Winterhof Park, located at Roy Street and 180th. This park was completed a few years ago and there's lots of fun uh, playground equipment out here. Um, in addition to your more standard playground, you also have a musically inspired area. Now this is the closest park to Fox Point, which is of course the venue where lots of music is played. So that's the inspiration for the music at this park. Uh, plenty of things to do. There's percussion instruments. Um, that's percussion too. And then there's a xylophone over here and some wind chimes. Very cool. 
very fun. Lots of things to do at this park, located right off the Penzi Greenway here. You can see it running up a nice, uh, nice field to play in as well. So this is Winterhof Park. Welcome to Van Layton Park. We are at 183rd and Holland Road in sort of a what's now a residential area. This used to all be farmland. In fact, back in the distance off to the south, you can still see some farm. And now it's a park. It's quite a large park. And we've got a beautiful new playground here. But what makes this a destination park is the story walk feature. There are 20 stations along this walking path. And each station includes a couple of pages of a children's book. And the park district switches out the book every month. So this is a nice place for families to come and walk the path and read the book together. Uh, the story walk feature was funded by three churches from three different denominations who came together, made contributions, and then Lano Park District brought it to life and put it all together. So that's the story walk feature at Van Layton Park. Our next destination park is Oakley Park, located on Oakley Avenue. Uh, this is somewhat hidden away in another Lansing neighborhood. Um, and this park is fairly new, but there's an especially new feature at this park, and that involves your smartphone. So if you have a smartphone, there's an app that you can download, and you can come to this park and take photos of different areas uh, of the park and play interactive games and have more fun activities than are just here. You can scan something like this, um, to, to play a game. This is a way for if you're a parent and, and your kids are on their, you know, on their devices and you'd like them to uh, get out and do some activity, they don't have to leave their devices behind. They can bring them here and do some physical activity. Um, this is one of Lansing's smallest parks. This is the smallest park in our video today. That's a destination park. It's a very quiet park. Um, it has some fun interactive act games to play in addition to the playground equipment. So this is Oakley Park. Rotary Park is not the only park in Lansing with tennis courts, but these are the courts that were most recently resurfaced. It was done in 2017, and we wrote an article at that time, and that article includes video of the guys who resurfaced and repainted these tennis courts, so you really should check that out. They use a special kind of paint, they apply it with squeegees, and it was really fun to watch. So I'll put a link to that article below. Welcome to Erfurt Park located at Burnham Avenue and 188. This is Lansing's second largest park and this park has multiple amenities. There's a shelter over here that you can see in the distance. There's playground equipment farther towards the road. Uh, but the two things that make this a destination park for Lansing is one, the fishing. There's a nice area here to do fishing. You can see a bridge in the background where some people are fishing right now. A uh, very picturesque area here on a nice day. And then, so I am at the top of the sledding hill here in Erford Park. This is the tallest spot in the park. And yeah, this is where you're going to sled from in the winter. And it's actually a really nice view. I'll show you. You can see the pond. You can see this kind of horseshoe of trees. The shelter is over there. Uh, clear blue sky. Perfect for a day like today to come out and, and enjoy Erford Park. Well, Josh and I had a great time giving you a tour of Lansing's nine destination parks, but we really hope that you will visit these parks yourselves. Bring your family. Uh, it's not just these nine, remember. There are a lot more parks in Lansing, and we will post some links below so that you have all the information you need to make a great decision about Lansing parks.